Hello everyone. I hope you're all having a good day. My name is Dale. I'll be with you in tutoring on using a um, data structure, surveying, building, analysis, and design. So, this tutorial is uh, directed to all structural engineers out there who want to be structural engineers and they wish to use a more simple software, uh, user friendly and uh, quick to operate and an all-in-one software. Kindly be informed that I will show you uh, the software's interface and after showing you I'll give you some small, small explanations uh, on how the software is best uh, as compared to others who are there in the field of engineering. So just as a, as a quick grasp to what you're going to have in this uh, course, I've decided to divide the course into two parts. The first part is uh, getting started with the course where I will have a general introduction to the course. Uh, to get to know the software environment, uh, setting ups, basic modeling, and then uh, the analysis. So, on the first part of the course, I will show you how to launch the software, how to start a new project, uh, how to create and work with grids, um, how to create uh, structure columns and walls, how to create beams and slabs, how to, cre how to create slab strips, and I'll show you the an introduction to the load combination analysis. Please, uh, for those who have taken uh, structure engineering, when we speak of load combination, they understand. It means uh, you're combining different loads, uh, in case of uh, dead loads, imposed loads, wind loads, earthquake loads, uh, lateral loads, and other loads that we can, can be combined into a structural member so that that member once designed and constructed it will later on react and work under all those conditions uh, now moving further to the second part of the course we'll have uh, a multi-story design or i can say a, a, a picked up a sample of a residential building where we have to design it from uh, from the early stages up to completion of it that is from uh, building setting up to the final stages of report creation and uh, coming out with working drawings so we we'll just have a normal residential building that will be having a, a ground plus one plus roof so it will be a it will just be a two-story building with a roof. So under this part two, I'll show you on how to reference a 2D AutoCAD drawing, of which is the one you're going to use to be a, a 2D AutoCAD layout. And I'll show you how to import structural members from that uh, 2D file that I've referenced. We'll be assuming that you've picked up a 2D layout from an architect or sent you through AutoCAD. Now you want to develop the 3D, 3D model ready for modeling and doing the analysis and design. Now after there, I'll show you how to model staircases. Uh, I'll show you how to model roof and other members. I'll show you how to set up the design codes and loads. I'll show you on how to do uh, wall settings and applying wall loads. Uh, what you mean here is the case of uh, these uh, brick walls or block walls. Also, I'll show you how to set the design materials and setting properties that is both for concrete as well as for steel structures. I'll also show you on how to do analysis, building analysis as a whole, and also build an alternative design that we look, we look at or we'll be inspecting. Members to members, that is maybe it's leaves or columns. So we look at each beam that is in the 
you link uh, each column then you do an interactive, interactive design then I show you how to design footings you do pad footing and I show you how to uh, to create reports for each member so that it is reports for slabs, reports for beans, reports for columns as well as for foundation and I'll also show you on the last part on the interoperability of uh, the software with other software or the other software these are auto credit in case of referencing files or referencing models also I'll show you now on the later part of which also in modeling the staircases I'll show you in this part in the last part of this introduction to Porter details for detailed drawings where here under Porter details I'll show you how to produce detailed drawings also I'll show you on how to do special designs under this under this the details I show you how to create the retaining walls I show you how to create the swimming pools the scaffolding I show you how to model staircases of different types uh, spiral staircases and normal staircases and finally I just show you how to modify details on the sheets and also on the sheets creation now quick going back to the first part of the course I'll show you how to launch the software that is the Porta stru structure software now under this link here that you can uh, copy it or you can type type in on your either Chrome or Firefox and once you look and once you click just a moment you have to fill in this information here there's a type of license that you want to purchase the name, country where you come from, if you are working in a company or a group, and all other informations, and they will guide you on how to get uh, the license. For me, I got the license from the company that I was working on, so the, the ID, 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 ID number, and uh, the activation codes. So once you buy the software, you get the ID number, the activation codes. Now, going back to where we were before, that is on the home page, I want to show you something. Just a moment. Now, on this home page, once you download the software, the software has four parts. The software has Porter Structure, Porter Details, and Porter Steel, as well as uh, Porter Beam. Now, Porter structure is, as the name suggests, is all about structures, that is uh, concrete structures. So, under Porter structure, you'll be able to model, design, and analyze structural buildings. And for Porter steel, as the name suggests, it's all about steel structures. So, here we design steel structures, here we design uh, concrete structures. But you can do composite design while you are here that is uh, you can design uh, members that in, uh, that are, are, are composite maybe you can use a steel structure together with a concrete structure example the type of roofing that you are going to use here, here in photo structure uh, you are going to use a uh, steel paling and steel trusses. So the roof here is a steel roof, which will load its loads onto the uh, ring beam that is made up of a concrete structure. And here, under Porter details, as the name would suggest, it's all about detailing works. So here you'll be doing detailing works. Uh, after doing analysis, you will go do your details here. It's for columns, your columns for beams, and etc. Then you can open them. Apart from that, under Porter details, you will be able to do special design like design of stairs, design of swimming pool, design of scaffolding, as well as um, design of retaining walls and others that I'll show you once you're in there. And lastly, the, the fourth part of the of the software is the, is the Porter Beam, and Porter Beam or Porter BIM. This is the uh, building, we're saying it is a building information or building innovative management. This is a 
this is an input or is a plugin that enables them. okay now under download you will find the latest versions of the software so here yeah, I currently have for the structure 10.24 and the last version was for the structure 10.22 and uh, you put the beam you got the beam 10.24 for Revit 24 or for Revit 2023, so it depends if you have, if you have a uh, Revit 2023, you have to get for the beam 2024 for Revit 2023. If you have Revit 2024, then you have to get for the beam 2024 for Revit 2024. Okay, now once you are here and select download here. The download will start and you get the setup. Remember, the setup that you are going to get for this, it will have all the three items I mentioned before. You have photo still and photo details, the year 2024. So, let us to show you from my desktop here. On the downloads, once I click the setup, uh, the setup looks like this photo structure 2024 release exe okay you run it as an administrator once you run it you get these three photo structure photo still and photo details once you run this the photo structure software it will give you a prompt in which they ask you to to input your ID number as well as your activation code. So once you input those, then you can proceed further to open the software and start working with it. So if there are any students that are going to take this tutorial or to take this tutorial, the photo software website also provides uh, licenses for students so under there you input the name of the university that you are studying and once they confirm that you are from a university then they provide you student versions of the software okay now that was all about launching for the software and kindly keep on watching our tutorials the coming tutorial will be a general introduction to the software interface and to get to know on the one two three of the software thanks a lot thanks for joining